Oh, fuck! Guess who showed up? PM on no, we're never leaving. And 6.06 p.m. on Monday. Should I go on there and just Tim scream Swift. and say Tara? He's trying to fucking do it. 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 Go on Nick's stream. Go on Nick's stream. Hey, hey, listen, you goofs. All right? I'm giving that man some respect. You can tell You can tell Tonka Durai, you know, he's like, he's part of the lineage of those wind talkers, you know, the coat talkers from fucking World War II. This motherfucker is full of hot air. He doesn't ever show Shut the fuck uh, up. All of America, go, go, Jim, go, go on Nick's stream. No, no, I want to hear, no, I want to hear Keem go off on him. Can you, can you yeah, Keem, get in, get in there. But, uh, oh, he already jumped. He's, he's oh, going. Shit. He went again. I, I apologize, How Nick. Oh, you're, you're, you're a really nice guy, Nick, and so I'll, I'll do it for you. Tonka, fucking leave. Nick has been trying to hint to you to get the fuck off because he has to read the donations and he has to go to bed. Unlike you, he has a real fucking job. <laughs> so get the fuck out of here and quit wasting his time. He's got shit to do. It was ass. You're terrible at everything, Kim. Just go. Okay. <laughs> The, the the chat link is out. <laughs> I can't do anything about it anymore. That's, oh, that's, that's good. Again, it's not about respect for anything. It's not about anything like that. That's not the <sighs> that's not the thing. He would never stop. Jim, hop on. It's, Give it's, the coup de gras. Come on. Be a pal. A guy. It's no, I don't just think so. Fucking a lot of shit coming at him at once. He's getting shit in his God, he won't shut weird. the fuck up. He just won't. He won't stop. Like, no. Twitter accounts. Go look at any of the Jim, go. Media. Nail that him. Come on. Cost. Gentlemen, I've been enjoying I, I don't the show. Don't, don't make me talk to Donga. Come on, man. You can torture. do it. Oh. Honestly, he's a good episode. No, no, no. You got to get Jim in. Get Jim in. Go, Jim. Go. Oh, that definitely won't work. He'll stay for that. Yeah, I'm going to say, Coach, don't. Yeah, he he will dig like himself a wigwam hole and <laughs> fucking set up a creepy in the middle yeah, of it. Yeah, never like, I, I Come on, Jim! We'll be here till Come 6 a.m. and Jim gets on there. In this, in oh, this God. Fight. I talked to Andy and he's been nice to me. You've been nothing oh, but least... courteous to me. I have Is no he reason finally? to disbelieve or distrust <sighs> you in any sort of way either. Yeah. So... Um, Nick is some happens, kind of lawyer because he uh, gutted Tonka the and Tonka is thanking happen. him. Unfortunately <laughs> for me, is I won't be able and to you go all doubted him. to a second of Oh, at the beginning, at the beginning, I, I was a him. little bit, just a little bit. Him. Well, I was getting frustrated because well, it was for the... so good. That's how good of a lawyer oh, Nicky Rackett is. That's true. It was like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it was really boring and drawn out. Nick could have made it a little bit faster. Well, he was very parts of it. I'll admit that. This is his style. He was getting. Comfortable, yeah. yeah. This is it how was he perfect. Works. It was perfect. It couldn't he have been. Was, he was pulling some Perry Mason shit. There. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, relax. Totally. We're friends. We're friends. <laughs> yes. You know, let's talk, for buddy. A while. Yeah, an buddy. Offer. Andy accepted for the two thousand. I like you. I'm your Columbia. friend. Yes, you can I trust me. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I call I'm you a faggot? It's whiskey. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Is he actually? I just wanted to. Oh, he's actually leaving. Make sure last thing I said. Oh no, God. Because oh no! I'll check your DMs speech. on Discord. He's on another speech. Okay. I am sorry for how it all went. I don't think anybody else. Is. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still because Nick he asked knows. the peace out again. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for no, coming he knows, on. Tonka. He knows Have that this is the last time he's uh, gonna be on anybody's stream. It's over for him. He knows it. That's why he's hanging on. Like a million chats. He's still Thank not leaving. You, chat for hanging out with us. Very interesting. Very interesting. Finally. <laughs> Uh, Woo! As the engine's dead. Holy shit! So he shit. actually. It by the way, I, oh, I just saw a message from SPCC, and it was too late. God damn it! I would have definitely sent him the link. Uh, oh man. Well, we? I apologize. I think he's gonna be back on Thursday, though. Can Can we give Nick a round of applause for getting Andy and everybody in there after getting Nick, that call? Nick, that was, Nick, Nick. Woo -hoo! That was Nick. beautiful shit. Amazing. Beautiful. Did you see the look on his face and the thumbs up when he did it? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> and the that sipping of the, the ages. of his drink with the pinky out like a true gentleman. Oh, gem. man. It so, was Ralph, awesome. I have a surprise for you guys and for the chatters. I know they were getting annoyed with me. Uh, but during that fight or during that little argument where Andy and him were screaming, I got a uh, response back via text uh, from the actual commissioner of really? the fight commission from Tennessee. 
Uh, like I said, when I did the IBS apocalypse a year ago, I was trying to tell Kim about this. I actually called every single fighting mission that Tonka ever claimed that he fought out of. And I spoke with Georgia, I spoke with Tennessee, and I spoke with Alabama, and they had never heard of him. They had no record of him ever being licensed as a fighter. And the funny thing is, is the Tennessee fight commissioner, uh, Glenn Kopchak, him and I talked for over an hour, and he said that Tonka was full of shit that there was no record of Tonka ever fighting in Tennessee, and that he sounded like a serial bullshitter. And Damn. it's really funny. I have what else that did guy. you talk about? I mean, an hour long just to get to uh, that point? We went we went through every single name that he had, because at the time, Tonka was going by Robbie Vio, uh, Robbie Pilkington, and um, Michael Pilkington was his other name. So we went through all of those. We also checked if he ever ran a fighting promotion, if he was ever licensed to be a fighting promoter, like he claimed that he was in the <sighs> States. They had no record of him ever. And I, he was such a nice guy. He gave me his cell phone number. He said if there was any kind of problem, because he actually thought I was a promoter. <laughs> he said, call me if you guys ever have a fight in Tennessee, and I'll try to help you out. This guy sounds like a bullshitter. So I kept in touch with him. Tonka also claimed that he wrestled with AJ Styles. I got in touch with Bill Barons, the fucking promoter and manager He's and the lawyer manager for Styles. AJ Styles. Yeah. Had a whole conversation with him on Facebook. He said he doesn't know who no, the No, but wait, 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 wait. Zoom, what did the promoter say to you tonight? Uh, they said that he said that he wanted me to call him in the morning when he's, you know, in the office and Andy is going to have a show tomorrow and we're going to call him live on the air Wow! and we're going to see if we can get this promotion, uh, this... extended. <laughs> Dude, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, everybody's been hearing this Tonka guy and it's just an act. It's not a real person. That's why the fight didn't happen. Well, I'm going to see if I can get this extended another day because Tonka said he only needed another day and that the fight commission wouldn't give them the extra day. I'm going to see if we can get him the extra day. And if we yeah, can, he's... then we can have the fight. Yeah, he's going to be. He said he's coming to Knoxville. So yeah. if he just needs that extra day to just sort stuff right. out, sign oh, the on, new guys, contract guys, and everything, boom, we got get, it. Get real. He's never going to sign any But I, I did some research, and there's no way that he got this fucking Dude, game. Did you, guys, did you guys listen to what Zoom just said? This guy's a fraud. There's He's no – there's fraud. no no fight is what? going to happen. No. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. What are you talking about? Fraud? <laughs> oh, and, uh, fraud. And I He's did some research. Come on. There's no way he could have got a name change this quickly because he would have had to have gone to the probation office in alabama he would or the probate office he would have had to file a, a thing with a clerk which he just did on monday and then he would have to wait well yeah the promoter already said the yeah There's the promoter no already said it, he just followed the paperwork like they don't just let you change your name overnight no. anywhere it takes like, it takes yeah. months yeah and then to, you Sometimes have to go to the can, social yeah. security office you have to file for a new social security number they have to go to the dmv you have to give them all the fucking documentation that he claims he has and then get a new license he said that he got his new license on the 10th that's fucking impossible. Yeah, well, he would have had to have done this months ago. Dude, dude, dude. It, it was just an excuse to get out of the fight. Okay. And and any anything that you got you and Andy do, great, but it's it's you know, it's gonna be kind of pointless. It'll be just no, to no, coach, rub his not, nose it, into it's it. It's not it's not pointless. That's the funny thing about it. Of course he's gonna constantly dodge out on it, but every extra opportunity they give him makes him look like even a yeah. bigger pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, uh, yeah. well, Jim, I don't know if you heard about this, but when uh when I heard that Tonko is not showing up, uh, I had made a promise. Uh, I had talked with Ralph about this, with Andy, and uh, some people had let CRP know about this. But I decided that because Tonko is not going to show up to this, and because he was going to be a pussy, that we were going to do a documentary where we went down to his town, where we met with his <laughs> ma, had some sweet tea. We would meet with his with his mother. We would go to his used car lot and interview the employees there and ask about his work ethic. Yeah, we're going and to I, shoot at Errol Moral. I like style. how you mentioned yeah. sweet tea. She almost certainly yeah. has some sweet tea there. Here's the best yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. I called the sheriff, Matthew Dade, who is the sheriff of Calhoun <laughs> County, and told him I was going to be doing some filming in his county and that I wasn't going to disturb anything. I was just doing filming gonna do some interviews for people for a, for a live tv show and he said that he had no problem with me going down there and that all i had to do is just come to the office and ask for a permit and it would be 10 bucks and he would let me fucking film as anything yeah. i wanted what do you yeah, think but, about uh, me and zoom going down there jim i uh i disavow <laughs> <laughs> I think it's terrible that you guys are going to have SPCC call the used car lot before you show up and say, hey, I'm standing outside, bitch. Come take a look and then wave. I think that's just a mind fuck that you should there's be the, doing. Uh, there's the GoFundMe thing. I'm going to add Ralph never do and I'm going to add okay. CRP to it. And we're going to try and crowdfund this. Oh, I've, uh, I've written a whole thing about it. Uh, I actually, really I liked your blurb. That was really good, actually. Yeah. 
Yeah, but Zoom, you got to be careful, dude. When you were talking to Tonka, you were like, "Yeah, I'm going to your grandma's house and shit." Like, dude, he <laughs> yeah, could, exactly. he could, he could spin that around yeah, to be like, "This is far. harassment." Like, no, no, Zoom, no wait, fuck. Zoom, you gotta watch Zoom, out, man. Wait, Zoom was playing a character like Tonka does at that point. I mean, oh, yeah, okay. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Yeah. What's he gonna he, do? He wasn't serious about any of that. You were just fucking around, right? Did you Zoom? hear the fear in his voice when I said that? <laughs> He's shook. He's a pussy. You were just kidding, Zoom. You're playing, playing your dude. I would whip my dick out and piss on his grandma. No, no, no. You're going to make a film. You're going to make a film. Yeah, I'm going yes. to make a film about a pussy. Oh, oh god. god. So, you're, you're, so Zoom, basically, you'll sacrifice anything for art. Huh? I don't. Well give done. A fuck. The fans <laughs> deserve this. The IBS community deserves this. They had to sit through six hours of autism with me and Tonka and Joaquin screaming at each other. And you know what? I haven't heard a fucking word from Jim since then. That's how autistic it was. It made Jim never want to talk to us again. Uh, that, yeah, it, was, stream, it was pretty that bad. It was pretty fucking awful. And you know what's <laughs> funny? Is all, and is all of that endurance through that autism, nine months later, you see I was right the entire fucking time about that guy. Everything I fucking said about that dude from fucking point A to point B was right. Now let he me ask pushed. you. You know what I, you know what I noticed yeah. about Tonka is – he delete, you know, even when he had his Twitter, he delete all, you know, a lot of tweets here and there. Uh, he'll delete his videos almost all the time now. Yes. Um, the clip channels don't really clip his shit as much. I mean, you get like Medic or Fembot, but like he doesn't have his own clippers doing it anymore. So he makes all these statements. I don't challenge people to fights. I never said that. That never happened. If somebody could compile that, I guarantee you, you're going to get at least twenty or thirty oh, examples. We, we have saying, about I want I mean, to twelve right now. That's what yeah, yeah. Found yeah dude. Well, the, look, there's so many. Ah, uh, fuck. There's there's at least five or six that I can think of. So Zoom, he challenged Baked Alaska, Andy, of course. Destiny. Uh, Destiny. Destiny. There's four right you. there. Yeah, me. Yeah, uh, you. Me? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jim, oh, me. Bronx bomber. Yeah. It's just he, he, he challenged uh, Bronx Bottom to fight. Yeah, he challenged the uh, Bronx Bomber to a fight. <laughs> no, I think like, they wanted to get know. together. I think I think they wanted to get together for an AIDS support group. No, that's you know not Bronx, you... Bronx Bogger. I'm talking about Bronx Bomber. You know, oh, he, I don't... he challenged me, motherfucker. Yeah, he's, he's that dude on Discord. He said he would beat the shit out of Tonka, and then Tonka was like, "Oh, uh, I'm no, not in that town." Uh, no, let me tomorrow. ask you. Let me ask you, Jim. Where, where do you think this ranks? We were having a debate earlier between this and the. Uh, you know, Monday Matt stream. What do you What do you think it ranks? Oh, I I, I I think. I mean, here's the here's the bottom line with this. Like he tried to dance around the issues and throw out a bunch of bullshit. But Tonka is the one from the beginning that said, "I respect the fight game. I know the fighting world. I'm a part of the yeah. fighting world." Andy disrespects it, and yet Andy, the goofy, stuttering Canadian with a cocaine problem, <laughs> had his he trained his ass off. You can see his uh, his physical yeah. you know form get better over the last couple of months. He got his paperwork in on time. He rented a fucking hotel room. He got shit together to go down there. He's been talking to the promoter and other people to get this set up. Tonka, Mr. I respect everything, suddenly is changing his fucking name with three days left to go. Can't get his paperwork in on time. Yeah, he filed uh, this Monday. Yeah, it, it, it's bullshit. It's all delaying tactics and bullshit. Here's a screen cap that looks edited. Here's a name change. I'm late with this. I'm not going to sign on camera. I'm not going to put a pickup like you asked me for the promotion flyer. It's just it's a load of horseshit. Everybody knows it's a load of or a load of horseshit. The funny thing about all of this is Andy was so fucking angry about it. He dragged him to the very last minute where he had to basically look like a fucking putz in front of the entire internet. Now, but wait, but wait. The original question: which which was worse, the the Monday Matt self destruction or the Tonka? Self -destruction? Oh, I, I would say this because with yeah. Matt it was kind of contained I to the one one moment and then some sputtering afterwards. Yeah. But with Tonka, it's been two months of this shit of him just. Do you did you hear him screaming and with Andy back and forth? It yeah, reminded me fucking funny. Yeah, it, it, when he gets really mad, that's what he does. He's done yeah. that with like three or four people. I, don't get me wrong, I do that shit too, but <laughs> I'm not the one doing it now, so it's funny to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've never yelled also, ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, also, it's that a lot of people book flights to go to Knoxville, and and you know, I'm going there. Like I, I yeah. just on my trip home to to go down to Knoxville and shit. Uh, a lot of people, Rikeda did everything with the five kids and shit. Like, yeah, a lot of people got put out by this shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. There's a lot of I mean, about that's it. the, that's the thing. That's, 
that's the overall main thing is like you know he he him saying that he respects the fighting and stuff oh, dude there was no apology to the fans yeah none at all he didn't take any responsibility wait i take that back he took 20 percent of the responsibility <laughs> yeah. uh, of the thing ending and it's just uh, where do you he, change that in for the refund for the plane tickets <laughs> <laughs> i know now wait, Jim. Wait, they have it. They have another offer though. They they I, yeah, they, yeah, you know, they want him to go. Yeah. Like, I, I, I listened to I listened to Tommy's bullshit earlier today with Oreo and everybody else, where they're talking about uh, <laughs> see, if Tonga doesn't show up, Andy doesn't win. Listen, if you say you're going to step into the ring with a motherfucker, you get the promoter and the fans and everybody else to put down money to show up to watch you fight, and then you're fucking around, Mister. I'm the inside in the yeah. fighting world. And you don't fucking get this done, but the other guy does. You lose. That's an L. Don't give me this shit. Oh well, hey, you know he didn't get in the ring with him. You're right, he oh, didn't, Tommy, because Tonka ran away. He fucked it up at the last minute. That's a loss. Yeah. yeah. And this, I want to set up a new fight. Shit, get fucked, asshole. You had your opportunity and you fucked it up. Why would we trust you with another operation when you couldn't get this one done properly? I, I don't think Andy should waste his time. It's it's like it. There's no. no if I was Andy right now, I would just not even talk to him anymore. Like I would ignore oh, every everything from him. Oh man. <laughs> have you have you seen their mods? Have you seen these furry fucking mods that he has? Oh, that no, yeah, they rage shit. They rage shit about fucking fucking their mothers and shit. Yeah, yeah, that what? fat fucking otherkin is uh, arguing with me about uh, like yeah, I've had thrax. so many of these, so many of these fucking retards talk shit for the last month about how Andy's gonna get his ass kicked and Tonka's gonna yeah. he's gonna teach him a lesson. And now Tonka's fucked it up and people are deleting accounts and deleting tweets. And then they're trying to lie about the deletion, saying that didn't happen. When you can go look for yourself, they're so fucking delusional. Yeah, one of them threatened Gator. <laughs> Yeah, I'll kill you, Gator. Yeah. You're a fucking furry. See a Did you see that person's face? Actually, Zoom sent me that. Yes, uh, no, the I, I'm only aware... way I'd be under threat is if that fucker tried to sit on me. I'm aware that it's a majority of fat, middle-aged cat women. Uh, I don't... The fucking it looks like Mr. Dink from fucking Doug. It looks like Pat from <laughs> SNL. I don't, I don't, I I don't think uh, I don't think a little fox could beat a gator anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Also, Tara LaRosa, I've been talking back and forth with her in DM. She's on Twitter suspension, so she can't Oh, tweet. that's why she couldn't respond. What, she what couldn't, is she saying? She couldn't tweet publicly. She put this out. By the way, this is, uh, what is this? Nile, whatever the fuck. What's this person's name again? I forgot. Some yeah, weird. Nile is Wolf. It's Nile. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's niece, that's niece Wolf or some shit. Whatever. I don't know. Oh, like, take it back. They a have big like, fox. they have like 15 <laughs> different accounts and they all favor to be each other. Niece polysexual pagan. It was now, a Facebook made with for her second life account. This is actually oh, Tara LaRosa, by the way, because she sent this to me. This is her backup account or whatever. Uh, I'm currently on a seven day Twitter suspension. Yeah, I'm not fucking happy about all this. I'm in Las Vegas teaching a seminar all week. The last thing I needed was this fucking bullshit. I spoke to the promoter and he's utterly dumbfounded just when you think you've seen it all. That's her that's her statement. Well, she's not she's not fighting people like Tonk is. What the fuck does Terry LaRosa know? Tonk is <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> suspension too because I called Nick Rakita or not Nick Rakita, Nick Diorio a fat retard. And then I called his mom and I said, Tell your fat ass son to stop braiding my fridge and stealing my Memphis barbecue. And then his that mom was said she was gonna call hilarious, by the way. Uh, let, me, let, me just, let me just say again, I disavow. No. <laughs> same, same. I same. Disavow it all, but it was hilarious. <laughs> By you the know, way, what Oreo did you think? Kid. Let me wait. I want to bring this up, and I and I hit on this. Tonka was speaking, and I know a lot of people in chat. Shut up, panel. You know we're talking over them. But Tonka said the reason I changed my name was because of the prank call to his mom. That, no, he, uh, said, oh, he said there were four or five different things. Well, but that was the Nick, one thing he harped on, though, right? Oh, no, yeah, but every, every time yeah, Nick tried to pin him down, it was, I, uh, well, okay. um, you know, I, uh. But if that's what was the, you know, the uh, the push that did it, why did he sign that fake name on the contract yeah, you know, at the end of November? Yeah, yeah that doesn't make any there. sense. Oh, yeah. So he no, signed the fake name. He signed that back in... Well, yeah, because he signed by, that by, back in. Wait, wait, coach, wait, wait, wait. I'm no, gonna let no, you okay, talk. Okay. He signed that back in November, and then yeah. he filed the paperwork to change his name on the 12th of January. And he yeah. said that that the call was the the thing that pushed him to do that. Well, what you know? Why did he sign that fake name uh, okay, back in November? Ralph, Ralph, you need to understand something. All right, Tonka's a smart cookie. I'm gonna take. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take. No, no. I'm gonna take an example from him. Guys, you thought my name was James Patrick O'Shaughnessy. It's actually Patrick James O'Shaughnessy. Checkmate, faggots. Yeah. Checkmate. Yeah. 
some shit I've, like I've that. smoothed it over. No, you never know. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that was another thing that uh, Nick pretty much revealed what he changed his name to on stream, which was hilarious. But What, what did he change uh, another it to? Thing. Robert. Yeah, it was like first to middle. I don't, I don't remember the exact phrase. His, I have to go his, back. His full name is Michael uh, Robert. Too much, too much thing, Woodford since then. Yeah, go ahead, Keem. I, I, another, I'm sorry. Another thing that didn't make sense to me, and, and I think I understood this right, is that the promoter was trying to get him to sign an, a new contract, right? Yeah. And I was under the understanding that he was trying to get him to sign a new contract so the names matched, right? Yeah. But Tonka was saying it was something else. Well, the names didn't match because Tonka signed the original contract under the fake name, and then he waited too long, and the fight cards locked on Friday. So then when he turned in the fucking medic, uh, medical blood test, it had a completely different name, and it was the new name. And then the fight, the fucking fight promoter is like, dude, the cards are locked with this name. The commission wants this name. Why didn't you tell me you changed your name when you got the medical exam? You're retarded. And then so what like, was oh, the new Andy's contract? Fault. What was the new contract about? What was the reason for that? They well, would have to issue a new contract because and of the try name. to get it, try yeah. to get the the title card well, unlocked. They were the talking. Only person that can do that is the is the fucking commissioner. Yeah, and they were talking about an. Oh, by the way, Dick Masterson, how you doing, sir? Hey, what up, boys? Hey, oh my god! I saw you were still stirring around on Twitter, so I figured <laughs> I would send you the link. I was on Twitter, coming my brains out over <laughs> the Peter <laughs> thing. Jesus. <laughs> By the way, how many? I kept thinking you guys were like a clown car sending your guys in. <laughs> and, and it's like, wait a minute, who the fuck yeah. else is gonna show up? Bro? Is, is Dark B gonna show up? Is Gator yes. gonna show up? Is the guy gonna come on and read Italian news in a second? Honestly, I didn't want to go in, but I just went in and said a couple little quick things. Dude, I, I, I felt like, bad for Nick. I felt like I had, had to. to. I had, had to. to. I had to we get had that to. one. No, shot. it was. Thing, I'm, I'm, disappointed. Disappointed. I'm disappointed in Jim because he should have shown up there. And just like uh, fuck with him a little bit. That would have been yeah, yeah, I'd like glorious. watching a good show, gentlemen. I mean, you put, yes. you put one on. I like watching it sometimes. Not always necessarily getting in the middle of it. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, no. Uh, Jim Nick, doesn't want to take all the glory. I mean, you know, no, little, Jim. Little. I mean, like this guy, uh, uh, Tonka, right? He he flipped his shit when you stopped going to his show. It, it would have been just yeah. What was that? Now let me cool. ask you, Jim. He called you a leech and said you were, <laughs> I guess, sucking oh. his energy away from the show when actually. You did a shit ton to help this guy, and yeah, yeah, yeah. What, why yeah, would I, 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 it's I, Jim's I, I, magic, Ethan? You're confused. He's sucking the energy out of you right now. Yeah, don't but what realize? is this? What what is this? I don't understand how I could say that with a straight face. I, you know, I don't know how to run a stream. I need to take advice from 200 <laughs> Andy over here. You're not even a thousand, really. Really, really blowing the numbers up. You know, up somebody actually went and they pulled all of the titles for all of the shows that Tonka has deleted in the past year. And I think he did something like over 320 shows in the past, like, uh, 14 months. And they found that over 260 of them had Jim's name in them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. There were 260 of them, including the one with Amos Yee, where you were on there for five oh. minutes. And then they were like, by the way, Jim didn't even want to go on that show. They pretty minutes? much just kept pushing it until he went on. I, I can remember tell. the whole I can show tell was dead he, air. I can tell when he went on, on he's like, I didn't minutes. really want to come on, but, you know. I had yeah, to... yeah. Well, I mean, Amos, you know, the funny thing is, like, nobody ever brings up the fact that Amos Yee accused his own lawyer of trying to fuck him when he was a kid. And he gets really <laughs> angry. He gets really angry when you bring that up. So that was kind of the only. <laughs> the reason I popped on. I'm just so shocked that Zoom keeps bringing on these fucking stats like a fucking <laughs> 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 so person, stats out of nowhere. He's like 260 of the shows had your name out of 300. <laughs> just like how Tonka was claiming that failure was going to uh, be his corner man. To be the fucking corner man, you have to pay a $25 licensing fee and a $50 okay. application fee. It's team, the same team, price to team. be a combatant. Though. Kim, you gotta understand. See, like Zoom is autistic, but he's our autist. Yeah, that was fucking funny. That was fucking, fucking Rain funny. Man over here. Yeah, that was fucking funny. Oh, I, I really, I started cracking up when he said that he was gonna go to Georgia. Because you have to have a fucking written uh, thing that shows that you've engaged in professional mixed martial arts in the past. You have to have a pre-recorded history of fighting multiple fights over a long period of time. And then you have to have a written... Uh, a notarized letter from the state that says that a professional fighter has trained you over a long period of time and that you were licensed and professionally trained to engage in this, even as an amateur. Oh, he has that in the bag. Remember, he trained eight hours a day at this special MMA gym. 
Oh yeah, so, don't you remember? I called that gym and they had no fucking oh, idea who he was. Oh, you called the wrong one. You should have looked for the, <laughs> the, of the internet super gym. There was only one in that and state, and they were like, "We don't know who that guy wait, is." We wait, 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 Zoom. Is there any proof that he did the actual fake wrestling? Uh, yeah, he did yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Him getting slammed around. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. video. He's, of him a, he's the fucking oh, okay. Chuck E. Cheese wrestler. <laughs> so at least we know that's real. He fought people in high school gyms in between cheerleading competitions and karate tournaments. Oh, good lord. Like Keem, did, did you ever see like those? Uh, did you ever see like those old-fashioned backyard wrestling VHS tapes where like there are three <laughs> yeah. guys that are four hundred pounds and one skinny fuck throwing each other in tables? That's basically what he did. Yeah. Oh, good lord! Yeah, but, he look, was I, terrible. I, 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 look, I, I, dude, I've watched a lot of professional wrestling and he sucked. He was basically most of the videos that you see of him. He's a jobber. He's just in there flopping around, getting his ass kicked. And you know, look there is the, a role uh, for a job. Look in the but... Google chat, uh, Keem. That's one of his fights where he just gets smacked around by a big it's, man, baby. It's bad. Oh yeah, let's watch that. Oh, I love the fact that that entire conversation went from uh, between Andy and Taka of "You're the bigger pussy" to uh, Andy saying, "You can't get your dick hard, fam." Hold <laughs> everybody. <laughs> she did though. <laughs> Vamp told us all you can't get the uh, totem pole up there, Chief. What's the problem? Oh man! By the way, uh, oh, Dick, damn. Dick, what are what are your thoughts on the on the evening? I guess give give your summation and and what you I were mean, thinking. Look, watching you guys these... are asking a lot of questions for a guy that apparently doesn't know his own name. <laughs> true. I don't know what I don't know what the plan was. I don't know what name got written when, where. I don't know what the and apparently the the cha changing his name was so. Uh, unnoticed, so, so small that Nick couldn't even tell what which was the new name. Did you guys was that right? He, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick's like, oh, okay, what? <laughs> and then the com the commissioner and the promoter or whatever, but both the guys that were talking about this said it was fucking weird. Right? None like, of it they, made any they, sense. Yeah, no, I mean they run fight promotions and shit, and they're both like, yeah, this is really fucking bizarre. <laughs> it's because for a long time he's he he hasn't used his real legal name, which is Michael, because the name Michael Pilkington, when you Google it, it brings up his dad, who is a convicted <laughs> sex offender, who was arrested in the nineties oh. for trying to rape a girl that was under the age of fifteen. And he died in prison two years ago. So Tonka oh. never went by that name. He started going by his his name Robbie Pilkington, his middle name, and then he started going by Robbie Vio, his brother wrestling name but his but he's been writing on all of his shit robert robert uh or robbie or robert uh fucking pilkington for years but the fact is is he's never legally changed his name it's still michael robert pilkington uh, zoom you gotta stop you're gonna put alexa <laughs> out of business <laughs> now, man of the hour is here man of the hour. hey nick there he is i was about oh, to send him the man the year of the hour nick ricada oh my nick god by Ricada. the way let me let me be honest we were watching the stream uh, for the first twenty or so minutes, and we were like, "Oh God, what what is going on? What what is happening here?" Uh, our opinion was quickly changed uh, by the uh, tenor of the program. Uh, That's so Nick's move. I That's just, the Columbo oh God. move. Oh my God! He did and he's just like, Columbo. "I'm so drunk. I don't know what's going on. I I don't know what's happening here." Oh, and just oh man, no, Nick, 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 Nick I gotta tell you, I got I gotta hand it to you. You 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 gutted him like a fish, and at the end, he thanked you. That's some good fucking lawyering. That's all I got to say about that. That was fucking masterful. And he's still not going to take credit for it even now, but go ahead, Nick. My, <laughs> my, my job is always to get uh, as much truth as possible from people. And uh, I think we got quite a bit out of it. <laughs> I would say, yes. So that's that's that. I, I, I was, uh, I'm always worried about how people will take – uh, you know, whatever, whatever I'm doing. And I, you know, I don't know. I don't know how things are going to play out when I'm talking to someone. I have an idea of what I'm looking for from people. Um, you know, when I'm, when I'm going, you know, asking questions, but it takes time. It takes time to get to that truth. And I know that the internet is not a fan of time, but lawyers are fans of time because we bill by the minute. <laughs> well, when you started setting the timeline, and you're like, "Wait, I want to establish the timeline," I was like, "Oh shit!" Once I heard that, I was like, "Oh fuck, he's fucked." Like once you started going there, I was like, "That's." I mean, that's actually what lawyers fucking well, I, do. I'm yeah. glad the uh, the hostage situation is over because he tried to get like 18 times, and he didn't want to go. I mean, well, I. I you were he saying it so nice. You were like, "Hey, man, if you know, if you want to go, you know, I'll let you escape." And like, no, he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't taking any hints at all. 
Well, he was welcome to stay through all of the super chats, but so many of them were hostile. I figured you wouldn't <laughs> want to deal with them. I love um, it. But so many were hostile. I think that that's your 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 line, man. <laughs> I, I thought you were very fair. You asked very, uh, you Honestly, know, yeah. you were very fair, weren't mean, weren't hostile, um, and it still was funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I can do I I can do my best. Like I said, uh, I I tell everyone who's worried about coming on my stream, and I'm not saying that Tonka was. He didn't ever express any hesitation or anything. Don't want to misrepresent, but I've I I had a a pedophile who tried to a convicted pedophile who tried to ruin my career on stream, and I t treated him with respect. I can treat just about anybody with respect. So. Um, that's, so wait, that's... you're comparing Tonka to to a pedophile? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Don't <laughs> no, put words no, in I'm my just mouth. Talking, I'm just I'm like, <laughs> I am several gins and whiskeys into this, sir. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, well, I can treat anybody with respect. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just fucking with. Well, you. I, I know you won't say a hundred percent, but if you had to guess, if you had to guess, Nick, who's responsible for this fight not stop happening? I oh, was... I, I'll say it, Tonka, one hundred percent. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, look, I, I am fully willing to entertain his uh, perspective on it. I don't think I, I legitimately don't think he blames himself 100 percent. I do appreciate that he gave himself at least 20 percent blame. I think that was actually big of him based on how wait, these things kind of go. 20 percent um, was big of him. Yeah, wait, wait, no, I a mean, very uh, strong 20 percent Christian person than we are. A, a very a strong 20 percent. I, I will give him credit. CRP, a strong can you give me your email in the side chat so I can add you to the fundraising team? But yeah, Listen, go, go ahead. And, wait, wait, wait. Just it, yeah, go it's ahead, really Nick. easy for an Internet personality where people can't verify anything and will never fully come out based uh, other than what they release. Right. Like the chats that go to Andy. Uh, between Andy and Tim and the chats that go to Tonka and, Ch and, and, and Tim will always be based on what Andy or Tonka releases. Cause Tim is not going to release anything without authorization from, from the venue. So of course he's not going to say anything, but uh, so those chats are all we'll ever have to work with. So based on that and the fact that you can hide behind the internet, no matter what the reality is, I think saying a strong 20% is a big admission. Now my personal perspective of it is based on what I've seen. There has been no reason given by the promoter other than other than Tonka not turning in uh, an appropriate name on his blood work that matched the name on his contract. And if that's the if that's the line, what what the hell else do we have to go off of? And by the way, uh, I, and I asked the panel this already or kind of pointed it out. He said that he changed the name because of a prank call. By the way, I didn't actually make the prank call, but I was on the line while the prank call was made, full disclosure. I, I think you probably heard it already. I disavow. But, yeah, disavow. 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 <laughs> disavow, but it was fucking hilarious. And, I, you know, I knew he would use it as some type of excuse later on. I kind of regretted it after I did it because it's like, oh, fuck, he's going to. I mean, it was hilarious in the moment, but later I was like, oh, uh, yeah, of course he's going to use this. Now, he said he changed his name. Um, now, at first he said, well, there's a lot of reasons, but he explicitly pointed to the prank call. And if that's the case, this is the Southern Poverty Call Center call. Yes, that yes. What we're talking about. Okay, yeah, I and you make, heard I it. Make sure you've heard it, right? No, I never listened to it. <laughs> okay, well, I've I'll heard send about it. it. I can I can play it now, but we have so many people. I I will I'll play it before no, no, we no, go no. off the air. Yeah, Nick says no, 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 no. <laughs> but okay, so he said that that was the main reason that he changed his name, uh, and he changed his name or tried to. It's still not changed at this point uh, to the name that he signed on the contract originally if that's the case you know why did he sign that name back in november if that was his reasoning for changing his name like that doesn't add up yeah that that doesn't make any sense because uh one thing he's hanging his hat on is that if you sign your name and then change your name legally that doesn't void a contract and that's true i mentioned this on stream people get yeah. married people change their names all the time well, that and is contracts true still go but on. if you sign with a fake name originally it's not that's the same the thing. Weird, yeah. That's the weird question. Why, why would you? Why would you? And the thing November is, Nick, kind of? he hasn't even legally changed his name. He just filed this on Monday. Yeah. Right. Our, which is yeah. Which is right. nuts. Which you nuts. know how long that takes. It takes a while to get all that stuff done and to get into probate court and to get sit in front of. How do, we even know he, how do we even know he filed it? Let's be real. Well, and if his plan was to always change his name, which I mean, you know, he signed that that name back in November. 
Why didn't he get off his ass and do this, you know, in December sometime or because something? Because he can't yeah. stand. He can't. Well, walk. that could be that could be part of it. But I, I just I don't know. It's it's just not I, adding I think, up. I I think we know the answer to that. If he really did sign a name uh, that was different than his his legal name at the time of the original contract, yes. and he waited for three days before the fight was coming through to broach the subject and have it be an issue. Then this was something he set up a long time ago as a yes. way out in case Andy ever pushed it to the limit where they'd actually have to show up in Knoxville and fight. And that's what somebody actually, I, I forget who it was, I don't mean to disrespect, but somebody sent me a message or a tweet and they said that he actually picked this out because he knew this was the one thing that would void it, you know what I mean, that would keep the fight from happening. This was the type of red tape that they couldn't get around. And they could, um, potentially couldn't sue him because yeah. Nick, you know, if if he signed with a false name or or an incorrect name, the contract is void and he can't be held responsible for it. Can he? Uh, I mean, he could. He could be held responsible under traditional contract law, but that doesn't mean that he could be held responsible under the contract he signed. Um, there, I'm sure. I'm sure any fight promotion has all sorts of get out clauses because you've got a fighter who could be sick. You've got a fighter who could get injured. You've got a fighter who could test positive for illegal substances. You've got a fighter who could, you know, any number of reasons could come up that, that could cause a fight to not happen. So I think it'd be really hard for the fight promoter to sue him uh, unless they could prove some sort of fraud. Now this is, you know, this is the type of fraud. The question, of course, for Valor is do they think they can squeeze blood out of Tonga? Oh, they'll never. They'll never. No. So what are they going to get? A fucking yeah. 88 Prius from the lot? <laughs> 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 and I wish Andy were still here because he said something that interesting earlier on. He said, oh, you know, the contracts did have a really easy out for both of us, but Tonka didn't take it. So I don't yeah. think Tonka wanted to openly say I don't want to fight. I think he wanted a way to make it look like the system forced him out of the fight so it's yeah. not his fault right that's the 20 yeah. percent get the hollow gesture of i'm not yeah. completely responsible yeah well, and, i was and, bragging about knowing the system too like yeah. he was going on and on about rules and he gets really excited and then goes like a dictionary about holds and places places where you can get sanctioned in another state seems weird that he wouldn't know that you can't put a fake name on a contract he doesn't even see. know the licensing fee. When Nick asked him that, he completely froze up. Oh, you know, you know what? Okay, hold on a second. Your your chat's giving me shit. Oh, they didn't make a Prius in '88. Hey, on Tonka's <laughs> on Tonka's car lot, they've got Mercedes and Benzes. Okay, I don't think you ever can <laughs> how Tonka deals with fucking cars. And and this was uh, let's let's be very clear about something. There is no state on earth that will put together an MMA bout between two uh spurges on the internet in five days no way will a, no, a licensing committee in any state me, do that let There's me tell no you way. there was actually a wrestling promotion i talked to the wife of the promoter on the phone about 30 minutes before i went on the air in piedmont alabama which is where you know the area that donga lives excuse me tonka i shouldn't say that um uh, the, the same county that uh, that he lives in, actually old associates of his, and they said that they would host the fight. And I said, well, wait, how is he going to get licensed by the commission? And then they told me, well, the commission doesn't really care. Uh, and they and they never they never come to our fights anyway. And if they did show up, you would just have to pay thirty dollars, and we'll still host it anyway. But we don't have a cage, and it's just it's in a ring. It'll be in a wrestling ring. And I'm assuming I'm assuming I'm assuming if they, that was one of the offers that he was talking about on your show, by the way. And yes, I'm assuming if they don't have a cage, they probably don't have an MMA trained referee. They with somebody, don't. somebody could die. Yeah. Imagine somebody actually, you know, really got seriously injured at this event. They probably don't have proper medical staff. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do, uh, but I would, I would, I would is doubt this like, that. Is this like that sports entertainment shit wrestling goes with? It's not really a fight, so they don't need the same regulations that actual. No, well, no, they yeah, said can... they were licensed for MMA and wrestling, but the the, yeah, the commission right. didn't really care. I I I, I got it. One thing that I just thought of, right? Somebody should have pressured Tonka to prove that he had a hotel room booked. He didn't. I checked all, all the hotels. and Because if he didn't really have a did, hotel right? room booked, I mean, obviously, that means he was never planning on fighting. He now didn't. Let, I checked all the top ten hotels. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me ask Nick. What, what do you think about that offer down in Alabama? 
My thought is the second a shin kick to the back of someone's ear kills someone, yeah. uh, that that everybody gets shut down in Alabama, whether or not they the commission was there or not. And the commission, there's no way. There's no way. Like, think of the risk in putting two uh, non-professional fighters in a ring with minimal gloves and allowing uh, Nick, no I don't rules. mean to cut you uh, cut you off, but I mean we are talking about Alabama. Are you sure? <laughs> they uh, they, they you allow sure? that in Alabama. I actually spoke with the Alabama Fight Commissioner uh, about nine months ago. It was one of the other parts of my video, and they said that when it comes to low budget wrestling, that's pre scripted and pre recorded. They don't require stringent uh, laws or oh, know, yeah. checks or things like that. No, yeah, we're I, talking I'm about a fight. Sure. We're talking about a fight, though. Yeah, we're, that, we're talking that, about yeah they're not licensed to have the kind of fight that he's talking about i think but the actually talk to the woman on the phone and that that's what she said that you know we don't really care nah, and that they're not a, gonna be worried about it it's a uniform it. thing that when they want to get licensed by the by the uniform rule for the abc boxing commission especially for ufc they have to pay a twenty five thousand dollars surety bond just to get the license for a fight that's only last that only lasts for 30 days you can look it up i mean i mean the promoter the promoter may uh say that they can do it and and sure we'll do it under a wrestling license, but you're talking about uh, something that would be all over the internet, and I don't think anybody's thinking. Maybe maybe the defense for all of this is that nobody's actually thinking about what the reality of what this would do and and how this would blow up is. Someone uh, I was talking to someone about the the fight in general, and they're like, no one no one outside of this community knows how many people would be tuning in and showing up to this fight. Because the very fact that they're in Valor fighting, they're an undercard fight, and everybody there is going to be there to watch the undercard fight and leave before the two women slap at each other in the main event. Uh, the very fact that that's the reality, no one inside this thing is thinking. I think the wrestler, the moment he sees that hundreds of thousands of people have the potential to see his illegal fight promotion, he backs well, out in that's a heartbeat. What, yeah, it, it's all well and good, but I'm thinking about the publicity and, and getting some extra cash or whatever. Uh, I, th I think the reality would probably be a bit different. Plus, it's well, Piedmont, wait, Alabama. Well, yeah, yeah um, but wait a second. I mean, uh, 100,000 people tuning in, so we got 200 from Dong. Where's the other 109,000? <laughs> you know, let me, let me well, lawyer Devin this. Tracer, I Devin said, Tracy's bringing in 700. Did you see his, uh, <laughs> you see his claims? <laughs> I said the potential. I was going off of Andy's sub count alone. <laughs> the potential for 100,000 people to see it. Uh, I will. I will not be bound to words that are not mine. I mean, oh, I would yeah, guarantee yeah, you they I, would eventually see it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but here, here's the reality: there isn't going to be any fucking fight. Okay. I mean, we can gameplay all kinds of crazy ass shit, but at the end of the day, come this weekend, there isn't going to be any fucking. Now, fight. Yeah, you had to think though that there was going to be a fight. You said you spent eighteen hundred bucks on a new camera. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, but you know, I bet <laughs> against uh, Ethan, and I fucking won. And I'm you won twenty bucks. You're yeah. down seven well, hundred. <laughs> it's a moral victory, motherfucker. You you had two bets, way, one for twenty yes. bucks and one for eighteen grand or whatever. By, by the way, he also bet me twenty bucks, and I can put this uh, to Jim in the panel. Oh, 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 well. way, sorry, wait, 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 coach, wait. Yeah. Oh, you go, bet go. me twenty bucks that within the yep. next ten days, Donga would delete his oh. channel and his yes. in his internet presence, basically. Yeah, and, right? and I extend the offer to all present. Twenty bucks says that. No, guy, there's what, one bet coach wait, wait, that wait, I want to see you win. Oh. It's the one about Destiny committing suicide. Now wait. <laughs> <laughs> now wait, Jim. Do disavow, you, disavow. Jim, do you who think wants put, who wants to do twenty bucks on Destiny off again? All right, let, let me ask, Jim. Do you uh, think do I'll you do th twenty bucks? Do you? Do you think that uh, Donga will delete his channel? Um, well, I know there are a lot of people, Kumite fans, that are pissed off. Like, I saw, like, three or four of them talking, saying, I either bought the pay-per-view, or a couple said, I, I was going to fly down, I got tickets, I got a fucking hotel, and what the fuck am I going to do now? I think that's going to put pressure on him, but I, I think for him to delete and walk away forever, it's going to take, like, Vamp or Failure flipping on him. He's already flipped on Vamp. He said she's on her own and she's no, no, a liar. No, no, them, them to flip on him, not the other way around. I think he's already alienated them. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'd have to, I'd have to see one of them come out and say something, because that'll open the floodgates, and then he will leave. But until that happens, he's going to stick around saying eighteen thousand and one to zero, and well, it's never going to end. I don't think you'll. Well, he'll well do the it, thing no. is, there hasn't been a Kumite in the last two days. I don't think there's going to be another one. No, I, I, I agree with. Zidane. Oh, I'm tuning in for the next one. I'll tell you. I that. don't oh, think we're all going to the next one. There's yeah. not going to be one. He skipped yeah. it on Monday. He skipped it today. I doubt there's one tomorrow. 
I, I think he's just going to fade into the sunset. He also lied to you, Nick, on stream when he said that that, uh, that, that recording with AIU is pre-recorded. Because if you actually listen to the very end, I think it's like 4403, uh, AIU asks him about the fight and when he's going to head to Knoxville. And he says, I'm leaving in two days on Tuesday because the fight is Saturday. Well, that's and he says that flat out. <laughs> I'm, watching, I'm, I'm watching this footage, this old footage of Tonka in the wrestling ring and stuff. <laughs> and there's no way that guy could actually be in a, like an actual real fight. He's too skinny. He's just so skinny in this video that you sent me. Oh, yeah. there's more. Yeah, no, I, told him, I told him he looks like, like uh, you know, he kind of reminds me of like a, a bassist from like a 90s. Yeah. Band. <laughs> he looks like, yeah. yeah, yeah. He uh, looks like Tom Hanks from Philadelphia. That that was my description of him. I, actually I, I mean, I'm not, even, I'm not even roasting him, but if you're that skinny, you can't really do that much in a fight. Like, yeah. you got to have some muscle. He looks like a seven-year-old that a pedophile stretched out to no, make him seem God, No, God, oh. no. Oh, he's got like a and he's got like a hunchback way. to him. Like he walks around, he's got kind of like a hunchback. Like it's no. That's what the oxyberries are for. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was genuinely hoping that he uh like that it was all a ploy that he didn't get on camera because he actually bulked up like 30, 45 pounds and he'd really been working on this and taking it seriously. Well, he said he I, got fat. Well, I, that wasn't the bulking up I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he had, you know, put some put some muscle mass on and some training into it. I have no, you know, who no. Knows? Wait, wait. He turned his camera on. Did you not see him during any of that? Or was he uh, sitting? He, he did not have himself on stream. All oh. I saw were his fingers. Oh, okay. okay, was he? Standing? Were they fat? Were, were they high? fat? Were they fat? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, relative to a driver's license. They were maybe uh, Nick. Nick, overweight. wait a second. Think about it. Don't don't dox his fingers. You're a lawyer. You don't <laughs> yeah. Have to <laughs> Yeah, uh, they 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 looked like they could be chubby fingers. I don't know. It's hard. It was really hard to tell. In all in all honesty, I <laughs> I saw the the very like tips of his fingers. Um, I couldn't read hardly any of the documents uh, that he posed because the camera wouldn't focus on him. So it was it was really tough to tell, but I did not see him personally in any of the pictures. Just his fat his little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Old lore, Tonk is, a scrawn, is just too scrawny to fight. New lore, Tonk is actually really fat and he doesn't want anyone to know. <laughs> oh, dude, there was just so many ways out of it for him, man. He could have came on your stream, Nick, and he said, look, I messed up. I tried to change my name to get out of this. You know, people harassed me or whatever. I wasn't thinking about it. I messed this whole thing up. I do want to fight. If there's a way we can still do it, I'll do it. But I want to apologize to all the people that are going there. I know people are going to call me a pussy. Fine. It's my fault that this isn't happening. But I do want to continue to fight. And I hope Andy will work something out with me. That's all he had to say. Perfect oh, he's PR. Never, he's never gonna say that. Perfect <laughs> PR. He's never like, gonna say that. Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't say it until the end. At the end, he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm sorry for the part that I played in this getting canceled." Which was only twenty percent, eighty percent, eighty percent. Andy, <laughs> Wait, Andy. a only strong, a strong twenty percent. Well, I'm Come calling on, that man. commissioner in the morning, and I'm gonna see if I can get this pushed up another day so we can do this fucking fight. Because he said he had everything on deck, and that he could send it in and have it all signed in one day. That's what he told Nick on the show. So if I can you... get them to push it one day, he should be able to submit it. God, I Far... love the fact that uh, the the Keem went on there because uh, I remember doing streams really early on with Andy and or with um talk and failure where they would talk and talk and talk about the famous people they know and they name drops you quite a bit oh Keem has been on our stream did you know that we <laughs> talked to Keem and then you go on there and he treats you like a bitch like Keem are you a fucking idiot don't you understand how this works Keem? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, far be it for me to call anybody a liar, but the idea that he has everything that he could do to make this fight happen uh, is is obviously nonsense. Of course because not. It's just the promoter more wants to rake him over the coals. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the promoter wants this fight to happen. Of course, they've got to know based on the based on the zero pay per views that they normally get uh, no! compared to however many they've got under Andy Worski that they want this fight to happen because ever anybody could cancel. I know the tickets are non-refundable, but if they, push came they to were non-refundable after Friday. So like he, he could have told them he wasn't going to show. I'm, I'm sure if push came to shove, you say, wait, you say they're non-refundable because the card is locked on Friday, but on Friday, this fight was on and on Monday, it's not. Uh, and that, that promoter gets scared and refunds tickets on an individual basis. Yeah. Uh, 
especially with a with a demand letter from yeah from but how does that uh, but how does that work with airfare and hotels though like you get that, the you get the venue money back great right, 30 bucks money. but you're fucked on the hotel in the air oh uh, oh i know i'm i'm just saying from the venue's perspective they face the possibility of refunding probably half the audience or more uh not not that the audience is going to do it but they face that risk Right. And, and so they want this fight to happen and anything they can do. So if Tonka had sent them, you know, enough documentation to prove that it was him, of course, they're going to put the fight on. They yeah. got an extension. If it's a matter of 45 minutes to three hours, Monday night, they're going to get the commissioner to sign on because the commissioner wants it to happen too. Yeah. Everybody wants this to happen because this is that, money. That's into exactly Tennessee. why I'm going to try and push this tomorrow because that guy was really cool to me when I talked to him and he just texted me before and said that we could talk in the morning. So I'm I hoping mean, I can push this. You, you make a great point. They would do whatever they could to make this happen. But apparently, you know, Tonka wasn't playing ball. And here's the thing. If you are a Tonka fan and you're listening, if you're if you're still here, one of you, uh, 20 people, um, <laughs> you know, you might have went and bought a ticket, paid for a pay-per-view. You made a might have bought, excuse me, I'm tired. You might have bought a hotel, but did Tonka buy a hotel room? Let's try to find out if he actually bought no, a hotel room. I because if he the, cannot uh... provide proof that he bought a hotel room to go there, then he was never planning on going there. I called the top 15 hotels on TripAdvisor, and I called under all of his names, under Failure's names, and under uh, fucking Vamp Candy's names. Well, see, that was your mistake. The yeah. top, the top yeah. hotels. You should have looked up Motel A. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the like the top hotel is like fifty dollars a night. <laughs> Already out of his range. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know I, I don't need alexa anymore zoom what's the weather uh, <laughs> what's the weather right? in my location <laughs> Dude, to be honest it seems like the promoters did do what, it, what they could to get the fight going they yeah, gave they them did. extension they were trying to work through this name change thing and they were like uh tonka you have to give us information on it he never did uh to their credit they tried to do everything they, they could it's oh, 31 fuck. degrees with ice came uh, zoom <laughs> thank you <laughs> zoom you over you overlook something did you are there any reservations out in the area cuz maybe he's, he's staying not a real indian his mother's a puerto rican <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> zoom can you tell me tonka's dna uh yeah i actually have his whole family tree if you want to <laughs> he does <laughs> he has name he uh he claimed that his uh, his dad or this is how i wound up figuring out that he lived at his grandma's house he is so stupid that he got into a conversation with somebody that he thought was a fan keem and he sent them a picture of this japanese guy he actually like zoomed the by the way he did that to me he sent me that same oh, he picture did that to you yes too? he sent oh, me that wow. same and, uh, picture and he's like here's why i don't say anything and, and he it claimed he claims this people. guy he's the head of yeah. fbi cybersecurity or something yeah yeah. cyber security program yeah. oh, so God. so i look into this right and i uh, i actually found out that uh, through this guy, Greatest Glam, he got his family tree, and we actually got the adoption papers. It turned out that his grandfather adopted a Japanese man after World War II, and that was his uncle. So that was his mother's brother. So we look and we find his uncle's wife on Facebook. And there's like this picture of them in grandma's house, great grandma's house, apparently. And um when they're in great grandma's house, if you look on the wall behind him, you see the same cop picture and the same picture of Tonka's mother on the paneling wall of the double wide trailer. And then you go and you look and it's the same double wide trailer that his grandmother lives in. And he said that that was his house in the conversation on Twitter. Oh, so that no. proves he lives with his grandmother. And then SBCC, because Tonka pretends he lives in Florida and he uses failures PO boxes, his, uh, his, his leeway to prove that he lives in florida and, this is uh, sad i mean real quick i mean this sad. is so sad because <laughs> you guys know with all that yelling grandma didn't sleep a wink tonight oh of course she did it i feel bad for her because she's like 92 oh poor woman oh this is just sad Hold Hold on, I'll, I'll the name change to stop zoom uh, uh, to tell you the truth it i doesn't. prefer not to see them because it's just too depressing you know what i'm saying i feel like calling the courts and canceling the fucking name change and saying i don't want to go to probate court because i have all his information including his social security number oh god what's oh, wow. the whoa, whoa. No, no. <laughs> okay i'm up I disavow. Right? I disavow. Even, even i have disavow. to disavow that one jesus <laughs> jesus oh, oh, hey uh, hey, hey guys uh, uh, yeah skin suit yeah, look, look, in, at the, uh, look at the time. I gotta. I gotta. Know it. Fuck. I'm really, I'm really tired. 